Hey guys, girls, ladies, gents, welcome all to a fantastic <laughs> game in my consistency way. Um, a good player in a consistency way can turn the battle easily. So, enough of the boring conversation stuff. Let's get on with the replay. So it's Duk La Pass standard. I mean the T sixty two A of course. Um so the T sixty two A apart from his predecessors, I should say. Um like the four thirty U, the four thirty and the K ninety one they all have alpha damage back in them up. Whereas this one, it just has that pure rate of fire, punch, 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 punch. That's what I like about this tank. The turret armor is really good. The gun, it can annoy you. The whole armor is shit, so don't bounce anything. Well, don't expect to bounce anything. So, here we go. I get spotted by a M46 pattern. And immediately, I think you're not the only one over here, are you? So, I call for help and, you know, cover me because I'm going to move up. Now that I've not been spotted. And sure enough, Type 5 Heavy and all the guys back behind me are shooting them. I don't know how that penned, by the way. At the time, I actually thought I hit somebody in front of them. But I quickly realised, hang on. Some of his health is gone. How on earth did I pen him? So, that, that's a mystery to me. I move up. Yeah. Lucky to only take two hits, not more. And now, because of my great turret armor, I'm able to sit behind this rock where the pattern can only see the very tippy top of my turret. And the pattern, M46 pattern, with these PCR will not go through. It just won't. Maybe with heat, maybe. But still, that's a long shot. So, I'm trying to see if I could get a shot over there. And right here it gets pretty boring now. But at the time I was thinking, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. But it's what you absolutely need to do. Because them guys back behind me, they need stuff to shoot at. So I need to spot. I am the medium. We have no light tank. Because he died to an STB-1. Type 5 Heavy goes down. 
That's the AMX M454. I keep getting the two mixed up. No, T9 and 10. He bounces my hole, I think. No, my turret cheek. Right there. Don't aim for the turret, you're just gonna bounce. <laughs> And right here, I can see the Super Conqueror's hatch well, the thing on the back of the turret and that WZ, I can see them if I go and snipe a view there we go oh, you can't, you can't see the outline god damn it but I can just see them so as you guys are going to see on the Super Conk there. This gun does like to troll you a bit. Look at all that spotting damage I'm getting. Th this game was just crazy good for me. In the T62A. Unfortunately, the Conqueror gun carriage has uh, taken interest in me. And I mean, why wouldn't you? I'm a T62A who knows how to play the game. So. I decide, yeah. Now's the best time to get off this rock and go and do something. Then all of a sudden, surprise S to be one. I think, okay, I have that tank, I know your strengths and weaknesses, but stupidly he's not using... He wasn't using his turret to his advantage. He really wasn't. I did put a shot into the Yag Panzer Fear, the Waffle Panzer Fear. He pokes out, I take another shot, he fires APCR, puts it in the dirt. <laughs> We've all been there. And man is it annoying. And wait until you see the battle results from this game. Holy shit, man. That unfortunately got eaten by his tracks. But like I said, the good rate of fire on this tank, I'm able to shoot, pull back, reload, pull, pull out, shoot, pull back. Now this will be one critical, well my second critical mistake, my first was staying there against the Conqueror gun carriage. Right there. I aimed it and it just hit the post. I should have known better. And also he could one shot me so it's... Now, three enemy tanks remain, and our artillery is calling for help over at the base. And that dumbass pinging the map, yeah, we we fucking know, kid. We're, we're not fucking stupid. That's why you're dead first and we're still fucking alive. Honestly, you people that ping the fucking map that's so obvious to a good player. Be a good dead person and shut the fuck up. Unless you have some critical information. And I mean critical. Like, put your headset on and say, Hey man. 
the AMX M4, he's 200 health or something, which he isn't, he's quarter health, but you know, anyway enough about that. Another critical error, I bounce off the gun mount with. So I aim at the side of my turret, and he's looking at me, and yeah, you fail. So, aim at the side of my turret again, and we're just ripping them apart, me and this M48 pattern. A good player in the T62A that knows what he's doing will be and can be fucking dangerous as shit. And the last tank alive, I think, is a super conqueror. Yep, there he is. Three hundred and five, game over. So, ladies and gentlemen, how much damage do you think I did? How much spotting do you think I got? Well, you're going to find out anyway, so let's go back to the garage. Yep, indeed, this was my first mark of excellence in the T-62A. I'm happy. <laughs> but, um, we got Spotter, Fire for Effect. This was only a first class for 4,700 damage and 4,440 spotting. That just shows you how good this machine is in the right hands. Obviously, Mark of Excellence. My first one, and Confederate. So, hopefully you enjoyed this replay. Hopefully you learned something. And maybe you might want to pick up the T62A if you're a good player. But, I digress. Hope you all enjoyed this replay, and thank you ever so much for watching and supporting the channel. Take it easy, take care, and I'll see you on the battlefield. Peace.